All right, and we are back with part five of our Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition playthrough. Just have to take a quick little break. Have some lunch, get some chips. And we are ready to dive back into this, right? Um, so this is our final mission on Tachanka, as far as I know. We're good. Shepard Services landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground to space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what's ground up to? to space cannon? It's a trio of gigantic cannons. Yeah, what are they? Why? Right? What are they looking for? Break his shield. I don't recognize this number. Yeah, call about my car's extended warranty. All right, that's what I thought. That's what I thought.
ED drop of that. So that's how I activate it. Old grid schematics. Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. Alright, so I know which one I need to use, so let's just do a quick cursor glance. So I think it's just a small map that I can do this. Good, I got a feel for everything now. There's a, there's a barricade there, the ladder that leads right to there, okay. I was curious about what these things were before, now I know. I just thought they were set decorating. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. I was, okay, that was on me. That one was on me, guys. As long as I don't start from the very beginning, I'm happy. Good. Burn him.
Shit, another turret, okay. They are really pissing me off today. Ooh, that is a slow shotgun. I did not realize how slow it was. Probably felt better when I was fighting, uh... Try to roll. It felt better when I was fighting brutes. Got a number of small targets. Move along the wall so I can't be flanked. <laughs> Alright, let's try going a different way. Try going down here.
right, let's try this again. I feel like the accuracy, like I used to be able to, I was taking pot shots with these guys before, now I'm... Shooting right. Let me go. God Good. Everyone hit him with whatever you got. Damn it. That was brutal. Commander, cruiser initiating bombardment. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. You did it! Good job. All right. Good work, everyone. What were they shooting at, though? Did they ever answer that? Shepard, with those Krogan cannons, operational Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. Were they, what were they? I don't know what they were shooting at. I'm sorry. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. No clue. No earthly idea what they were doing. Alliance.
The Asari Shiala was rescued by Commander Shepard from the Thorian on Zhu's Hope. Now she leads a militia of Zhu's Hope colonists waging a surprising effective campaign against encroaching reavers. Shiala suspects the group's prior connection to the Thorian gives the soldiers an uncanny ability to sense one another, allowing them to think and act as one in battle. The long-term consequences of this connection are unknown, but at least, for now at least, its effects are helping the cause. Big ol' Krogan guns. The Krogan First Division. Chain of command is divided by clan, with representatives from each serving as officers. Despite ancient differences, fighting the Reapers together is building a spirit of camaraderie among the Division's warriors. Krogan from different clans are starting to swap uh, equipment, stories, and even occasional barrel of Ryan Cole. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Bringing people together. It's what we do. Cerberus seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. I I think. I kind of take some blame for that. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. I feel like some of this is my fault. I kind of uh, made Cerberus' image more tame and palatable. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity. Hmm. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie hmm. controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is... The Normandy the is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Mm -hmm. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, Let's we're off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs Hell right yeah. here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, but I'll be fine, right? Odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. All right, we're getting there. Rogan Dying Missions. So, Citadel Barlavan. Hmm. Oh, I did that. I just did that. So I can go back to Barlavan for that. Find someone on the Citadel who can use automated turret schematics. DLC. Got it. I got new power grid schematics. I don't think I have heat unit stabilizers yet. Improved power gear grid. Irune. 
Anoveria? That's where, um... I once dealt with our rack knife threat. And where we murdered Liara's mother. Or helped, whatever. Let's see what Javs is up to. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Miranda? Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Then. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. Grunt. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. It's really cool. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic, cosmic imperative. imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your side were concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The so this big already proven it. They imperative only look around. spreading through us, I binding us. It's the Force. Got it. The rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The Force. The species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Mm. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. Good. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. We are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception. Allowing life to flourish. Century upon century. Letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces. And we are their prey. It is brilliant. Hey, here are these old things. They were, the, the previous species who built these were too bad at surviving or couldn't survive. But you, you can master the things they left behind. Because you're special, you're better. And then, bam. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean before. Well, I mean. Commander. No one has. I order it that way. Jennifer is here, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? 
The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? As they should. They are a sentient species who's been active in galactic politics for centuries, but... The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species could say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to Command for approval. Commander. Krogan clans. Oh, that updated a war asset, so I should be talking to her more often, too. Maybe after every mission. It's nuts how tiny conversations hey, shape wars. For your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most... <laughs> Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Hmm. Yeah, let's swap. I like the sound of a spike thrower. Better accuracy, worse damage, less weight, more capacity. And that's without being updated. Let's try the scimitar. the citadel that I can look forward to when I go there next. Mm, the M25 Hornet. Look like another Cerberus weapon. Just saying. I'll definitely buy that next time I go there. Visor, heat sink, the Solarian shotgun. Mm, nothing really blowing my mind. And these condos charge massive quantities of thermal energy via thermal conductive gel. What do the what do they do though? Oh, is that what I was asked to? Like, yeah. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Hey there. Good boy. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Hey. Tarquin? Who's... Did I just miss a character?
Oh, Tarquin Victus of the Ninth Platoon. Got it. Yeah, too bad about Victus. I mean, he... He ended up saving a lot of Krogans. Which is a good thing. Nope, I was already here. Oh, damn it, do I gotta go talk to... Now did you do something to say, Bob? No, oh, it is salutes. Cool, 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 cool. Feeling okay, Commander? Feeling okay, Commander? I am. I'm Bum Morden's dead. That one really got to me. I talked to Garrus upstairs with Joker. Have we found any new engineers for the crucible? Five Exonex Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvak. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating hmm. an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists' amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Alright, so, Battle of Arcturus. VIs can analyze hostile fire. Can also spend processing power looking for ways to improve shielding against Reaper. Sure. Improve my shields, improve my weapon damage. I mean, my shields go down fast, but... Being able to hit harder. Grunt addresses the new Arlock company recruits. Re so I don't understand why they put a whole... Put a tank-grown freak in charge of the whole company. Grunt laughter. I don't understand why they gave me wine and pie jacks for soldiers. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Grunt. Trying to mate with Solarian females doesn't count as fighting. No one talks to... Someone help them up. We move in an hour. Ah, good job. Security almost opened fire on the rack night when the ships pulled up to the Crucible Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before we let them... Before they were let on board. They're following instructions, but... But my god, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see rack night strutting down the halls? They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. Goes to show how our next staff meeting goes. I'll let you know. Okay. Increase, decrease in relay travel. The Widow, 95% increase. Omega? The Omega 2 relay, 65%. To Sol. Seen hard peeling. Karen, unavailable. Shanshi Theta, unavailable. Wow. A lot of stuff changing. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. Yeah, me too. It's on your mind. How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know, it must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. Inch by inch. We have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you. Yeah. Flatterer. I try. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Shepard. Glitching and teleporting. Working on anything? 
I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. Me neither. Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. The genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? He's open. Or will this be the start of another Krogan Empire? I think the thing I just bought was the part that they were asking for. So let's just double check with them, and then we'll head out to our next mission. of that thermal pipe you got us. It was, okay. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our EZO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Cool. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Well done, everyone. Those FBA couplings you got last tour are still holding up. Thanks again, Commander. Commander. All propulsion systems are running optimal. All propulsion systems are running optimal. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated knowledgeable and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retro. AI. I thought... Yeah, but I... And then there were the... You never expressed I figured I'd better... Not taken. <laughs> but Joker seemed to trust. All right. Get me. As Engineer Daniels... I did now. hear that one already. Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Well, we're getting there. Let's move on. Next! To our next mission. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. From Erna Pakara, Eve. I'm writing to you from the Kelfic Valley on Tachanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is a reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. Eve is so well-spoken compared to literally every other Krogan I've met. Okay, we can leave Tachanka. Let's hit the mass relay. Now, see, I was wondering why the Horsehead Nebula was open yesterday. Now I know. Because I... Goddamn Cerberus. It's crazy, I haven't been to Novaria. Small frozen trust for the world. Novaria Development Corporation. The war has brought out significant attention to this obscure planet. Novaria is home to some of the most advanced research in the galaxy. A sure magnet for Cerberus interest. Further, Novaria's mass relay is the stop between humans' exodus cluster 
and the beginning of Solarian space. It is a safe bet that Solarians will defend their borders to the utmost. Port Hudson, 405,200 people live there. So the, Reap so the Reapers have yet to get to the Horsehead Nebula. We haven't been there since, uh, Major Panesia, the Rachni. Taking out shields is better. So being able to use that more frequently, especially because we're going up against Cerberus. Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to see I'm attacking a fighter squadron facility? Too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it. I remember this. Commander, you'll have to find the command center to take down their defenses. Keep an eye out for the command center. This was hands down, a hundred percent, a multiplayer map. A hundred percent. I very, very distinctly remember running around these frozen catwalks.
Weekly Processing Report, Sergeant Parker. All on-base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols updated successfully. Hey, guy. So far, so good, Shepard. Looks like we found the control center. Let's check out this outdoor area. They were pouring in from right there. There, drop a singularity. System 
Shepard, it takes two to authorize shutdown. Alright, not bad. Scale deployment to the landing pad, ship. And that's where we need to go. Advanced heating unit stabilizers. I guess it's cold enough here. Of a turret, kill him. Good. Blow up with everyone. Yo, how you doing? Cortez, here. Trying to break through the interference. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. A mech. Shepard, look out. Give it everything you've got. Are you of a Probably no. Just the usual minor flesh wound. Copy that, Lieutenant. Got it. Where? Okay, just anywhere. Cheers. Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their I own mean, defenses against them. Yeah. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. If this is on the border with Solarian space, maybe we should get the Solarians to help? 
Maybe? I mean, Cerberus has already attacked their planet. An advanced fighter squadron. Liberated from Noveria, fast, agile, remarkably fuel efficient. These one person spacecrafts pack surprisingly heavy firepower for their size. After the Alliance installed their own VI programs and so for hidden bugs and transmission signals, they repainted the fighters and <laughs> pressed them out into service. I have updated the Krogan clans. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about bringing the Krogan into the Reaper War cast the Krogan in a favorable light, which draw even more clans to the Allied Forces banner. Just improved it by five, but every little bit, right? Don't disagree. Messages at your private terminal, Commander. Commander. From Liara, I've been working on something. Can you meet me in the corners? Sure. Sure, I can. I feel like. Rosamond and Talith weren't there before, were they? They might have been. I feel like this list is getting longer. We'll see. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons what? inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Goddamn. I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? I want to show you something I've been working on. At your service. All right, up to the cabin. If it's sex, then that's something she's definitely been working on. It's a project Shepard would like to be involved in. Oh, and uh, while we're here, feed the fish. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So... I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. In case we fail? But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes, 
I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Oh, Glyph. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth and fought harder than anyone else for her home world. The Commander was a strong biotic and a skilled technician, a deadly combination in a fight. She was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where she could. And it was a privilege to know her. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't mm -hmm. help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So there is, for thousands of years, the history of, of Shepard will just be out there, hidden on planets all throughout the galaxy. Even if we lose whoever comes next, like finding the Prothean artifacts, we'll find a history of me. What will they say? Shepard saved the... Uh, the Rachni twice defeated the Thorian, prevented the Reaper invasion or delayed it for several years, bested the vestiges of the Collectors, the former uh, inhabitants of the galaxy who had been transformed into Collectors and destroyed their base and home through a relay that you could not travel through, was the only being in history to ever destroy a relay. Created a cure for an entire people. Brokered peace between warring... Yeah. Warring uh, species and civilizations. Saved the Citadel. Saved many people. And started bringing together the... Uh... I think we're good. Started bringing together the galaxy. All right, back to the Citadel, where I have to turn in a bunch of stuff and speak with the Salarian counselor about Udina. Maybe I'll do uh, the Leviathan DLC this afternoon. Let's see what else is coming up. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. Thane? I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Damn. Are you safe? I forgot that this is a thing. To evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a presidio storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. God damn. All right, uh... Yeah, 
Javik's never seen the Citadel before. Now's his chance. Stay frozen for about two seconds longer. It super drops their movement speed. Yeah, I want it to last longer. We're flying a shuttle through the. Uh, super cool. Super cool. And there, there's bombings and... Just me and Garrus, where's Javik? Oh, or was that c -sec shooting and I was, that wasn't me. I thought that was me for a second. Is that Bailey? No Bailey. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Got it. I'll get the door, if no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Goddamn bullet holes everywhere. 
Just like the battle with the Geth three years ago. Or two years ago, yeah. Two and a half? Yeah, two and a half years ago. Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Good man, Billy. What have you got? What do you a got? Warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the executor. Being on guard, the likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside. Why would the counselor be meeting with the executive? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Let's go. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. Thane, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Thane! My boy Thane is back. A new shotgun. See what it's like. The thing just evaporated them. Attack in progress, all hands on deck. Entry wounds in the back of the head. Looks like a surprise, not an execution. We've got hardcore traders here. Same as Mars. Cerberus likes their sleeper agents. Yeah, yep, yeah, I got that. More like that water the sprinkler systems are on. Hey, bud. Recon hood, yeah. A revenant? It's a new assault rifle. 
That weighs a lot. Cerberus. Didn't even drag him out into the hall. Just left him where they fell. In the goddamn bathroom. And boom. I kind of want to see the big entrance CSEC hall that I saw in, in uh, Mass Effect 1. That'd be cool if they recreated that. Dead. Dead. Richfield! Lamont! You alive? You are giving away our position. If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I should. Sure Armando Bailey, entry 1, Warren Herrick. Warn Herc that if he doesn't fill out reports, probably be kicking his ass from one of the Citadel to the other. Rescheduled meeting customs analysts about the cargo weight discrepancy over the last year. Don't let him wriggle out of it. Reports of undesirables getting into the station illegally have biometrics calibrated again. Kick Herc's sorry ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. Helmet. There's a Talon in there and a data pad, it looks like. Use a door control. Does that mean it does? Hell yeah. From Uriah Shaw to Inamau.
Com towers. They took out the com towers. That's. And they wiped out CSEC. the executor's office. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Ah, he was hiding. Found him. It looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Oh. This guy who was with the uh elusive man before. Don't even think about it. Shepard is going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. And the lieutenant is staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. Three on four. Yeah, Thane. No, Thane. So he is Kasumi's invisibility thing. That was cool. That was cool. Shoot him, shoot him now. Shoot it. Right. I would have used a shotgun personally, but... Thane. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Udina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. This is why... Oh, damn! Just go up a little bit and hit him on one of those. Come on, Javik, you can do it. Back inside the damn car. Hover car. Alright. Good landing. Overall, could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard, my instrument. 
and see your car stopped. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the Council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the Council's transponders. Where are they going? Curve the gliders. Sporting guns. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. A phantom. Uh... Ha! Suck it. And there goes your corpse floating around. My nemesis. Why can't I? They don't like to hold still, do they? Come on, I'm trying to revive you, bud. No? Alright. Oh, it's a nemesis. Getting away with this, Serby. There. Let's keep moving. All right, this part that doesn't look too bad. Never mind. 
right, let's. Sorry, bud. Just take a quick look. I had something over there, no? Okay. Man, this is... Yeah. I completely forgot that the Cerberus invaded the Citadel. This is a nightmare. Douchey assassin, bro. What? Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Ha! <laughs> Classic. Yep, stopping uh, an assassin with... Shoot it. Dark channel, I'm gonna warp it. Blow up that whole elevator, maybe? Shepard, bad news. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up, I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come! Damn it, Ash. Damn it. Cerberus hit the shuttle. Everybody back to the elevator. Shepard? Shepard's blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? Cerberus. Right oh now, my god. Sure with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin 
is behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. Yeah! We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No, you're not. Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this! Yeah, I'm not letting him kill. Get the council back and cover that door. The door. Bailey. Shepard looks like you took care of things. Well, Shepard was targeting us. Cerberus was right here, but the deep feet the deeper dog. They figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll stay a plane. Shepard just saved the audio. Thank you, Bailey. My fire alarm seems to be going off. I owe you both a personal debt. One on behalf of Palavan. All right. Um, am I building on fire? I should probably go. Guys, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see what's going on. I'll be back in a few.
All right. I'm back. And as far as I can tell, my home did not burn down. Hello, hello, hello. There we go, that's better. Yeah, as far as I can tell, my apartment is not on fire, which is nice. That would have been my very final stream, probably, because all of my stuff is in here. Ugh. All right. So, you've saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both times. About time, or just doing my job. I'm gonna be modest. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. There you go. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Nope. Well, Odina's dead. That's at least that. At least there's something good came out of all this. Yes. Things didn't go as planned. The council's still in control of the citadel, and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Lang. Lang. It won't happen again. Kai Lang. Got it. We'll see. You know it will. You know I'm gonna get the best of him. You know I'm gonna end up killing him. Come on, elusive man. Come on, President Bartlett, you're too smart for that. Jed. Jo Josiah. Oh, bitter. You looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. <sighs> he likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess Damn. he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. Yeah. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. I'm gonna go We're check out. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus. If you want to see him, uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. Uh, so many pieces to put back together. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. <laughs> Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the game. See, I thought Bailey was a real ass Cerberus the way they described him, but going to keep me out of action. They've got another thing coming. Pretty cool. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. Lost a lot of people. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Damn me too. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Probably. How does the Citadel fit? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the un... Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. 
I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. I'll leave you to it, then. I'm here if you need me. Well, on that sour note, I'll leave you to think about it, Bailey. Can we scratch his name off there? Cause... This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts. <clears throat> got it. But ensuring Citadel Systems' integrity is just going to take time. Maybe sample ciphers. I understand it. I'll keep trying. That's cool. The Krogans and environmental suits just dropped onto civilian deportation order. He requested assistance with a con man who's been preying on refugees. The man has exploded loopholes to delay his arrest. Spectre authorization would allow CSEC to immediately deport the con man. Do it. That might the one might be the one I was hearing about. so expensive that's that's literally the majority of my money the citadel defense force my wife was just sent back to active duty and i'm about to get shipped out too i was told you might be able to help me of course. You're a Neota spouse, correct? I... Yes! How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. Cool! It's wonderful! Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I... I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Looks like everyone has flooded into the embassies. Look at these lines that were not there before. We don't understand. Divert to crap. Do we have any AI enabled fragments of sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet in a sorry world who keep burning. There uh, Ashley Williams, the second speaker helped it. First things first, hospital. Gotta check on Thane. Do not want Thane to die. Already lost Morden. And I, so a lot of this game really seems to be predicated on your choices in two. If Thane and Morden died, this game would have been so different. Could declare a cultural crisis. 
people would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a leader. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a thane herself. She was like a dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. All right, Yakshi. Farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. Indoctrinated? Or, or turned into a husk? That's right, I can now buy. Oh, and another one. Thank you for shopping. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing. But we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, Chemical we're stuck. Treatment. And I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Cerberus soldier during the attack on the city. Damn. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts. Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Yeah. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? I'm gonna it's go with him. We We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Can I help you? I'm looking for a Drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Kepril syndrome. At its worst, Kepril syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. His son? We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Oh! oh. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. 
Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. Mm. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his <laughs> target. I'll pass the word along. One assassin trumped by a terminally ill other. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Oh boy. That did it. That did it. That did it, guys. There it is. God damn it. I feel like that hit me harder than Morden. Because it, it was more drawn out. Morden was very sudden and he went out very heroically. This was in a hospital, spending time with loved ones, saying a prayer. Oh, that... That got me. And the prayer was for me. Oh, damn it. Thane. Oh, that hit. That hit hard. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. So we did the embassy. One moment. I have something for one of the women in the purgatory bar right now. I am really bummed out, guys. That one got me. Damn. Now arriving at ward level There's a lot more eloquent than there used to be. Dakuna the is their homeworld. Dakuna. Angry Elcor. Yeah, that's a that's a huge bummer. How's the head? Good. Gosh, it's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured, it was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Serve me a set of Vortex armor. Man, somebody in supply should mess that one up. The woman who needed the one of the things was right here. Is she gone? Oh yeah, a lot of the people are. No, the 
problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha had sacred texts on the ways of the Huntress. The divine works on the art of battle. Nimbus Cluster. But the Nimbus Cluster is already fallen, and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. Jack? Ugh. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread yep. out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Now nah, we're buddies now. Plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide <laughs> squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. We just killed a thresher I maw. Sorry, no, we just killed a reaper with a thresher maw. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Jack would have loved it. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Is that Edie? And none of this would have happened if Jack was dead. That's I, I get that's why a lot of these guys can't be. Everybody knows you can't dance. All she does is... Alright. Jack immediately dances. And... Okay. Yeah, this place is so clean and squeaks. Now, thanks for the drink. But why'd you drag me out here? You, uh, still got that in Russian for Yeah. Looking for work. Might as well. What you got? Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Damn right. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. Here's to fresh beginnings. And a better tomorrow. Thank you. For everything. Learned my lesson about accidentally flirting. Took three games, but I learned it. Alright, let's see how Shepard dances. A lot of fist bumping. your face made from the surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull the skin uses sheer thickening technology to help hmm. protect the central processing unit in the head if the skin is struck or shot it solidifies to absorb the impact it also is capable of limited self-healing and what about the hair it is of similar construction for defense i have set it to cohere into a solid piece however for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. That's cool. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. around here to pay attention to the war. <laughs> How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If 
If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. Truth. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? <laughs> eh, it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. I was more curious to learn about Mel, the girl whose friends didn't want her here, and... Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. There you go, Edie. There you go, Joker. Oh, did I have to turn those in early? So I lost Barlavan. I lost... I think improved power grid. Alright, so I lost out on missions because I didn't turn them in soon enough. That's a huge bummer. So as soon as you finish a mission, go turn it in. That's so dumb. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Area one moment. No, you already went to the embassy. I'm going to go to the presidium. Damn it! Commons in the docks, then back to the start. We're good. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I can't talk to Barlavan anymore. Listen, I thought of something. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues had legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this a classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that mm -hmm. could help us, even today. It's my money, and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. Have you seen Palavin? Or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. How can some place like Sanctuary... Thank you. Come again. The Citadel. Jellyfish.
Yeah, everyone is gone. The couple that was here, gone. Can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. Citadel Wounded Batarian. Spectre Terminal updated. Map updated. There's a bunch here. that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a Cacliosaur. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. A Cacliosaur fossil I'm looking for. Are they going to clone dinosaurs? Are we getting a space Jurassic Park? At least you are talking. No? Yeah, you. Another server's trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. Automated turret schematics. Shut it off safely. No, the crime still doesn't have anything. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Yeah, right, they will. I'll have e crimes dig into them. It might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the- We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC. You think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the city. Nobody there you go. Else. No one else. You got my word on. All right. Just. I hope it helps. While the alliance takes heavy losses, to reintroduce. Neither from you guys. I don't see Arya's dad anymore. Obelisk of Karza. Right now. The Obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. More and more people are talking about ways to help the Crucible. CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. 
people are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. Yeah, more. a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer. The commander's right. Maybe if the council organized Common sense. militia with training. Otherwise, they'll I know it's a hot button topic, but um I just I I'm pro sensible gun control. I know. But second guessing I have family with guns. Never try and take it from them. But I have one family member who I'd rather not have any guns at all, because they're kind of unstable. Welcome to Agor so I get it. I like the Venom shotgun. I'm gonna buy it. For deals you never see coming. Please obey all local government restrictions when purchasing participate. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. The extended barrel rifle for the assault rifle. All Citratine Armory products include a lifetime guarantee for performance. See our extranet site for details. Professional grade equipment at reasonable prices. That's Cipratine. Proceeds from all sales go to help the troops on Palavan. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. Hmm. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. Got it. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. I'm gonna go with her. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your tent. So I missed out on two potential war assets with Barlavan and. I don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Kill him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed yep. people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust, Captain Summers. 
Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of uh, plea bargains, but they... If they provide good intel, reliable intel, that can actionably save lives, it's understandable. It says Barlavon is here in the bank. Is that Barlavon? Sorry, no. Hmm. It's a shame. They said there was a terrorist in the hospital. Let's check in with that. Now arriving at Quim, right? They... Oh my god, I don't know why everything is so low always. I gotta... Battalion codes. Server ciphers. Where's poison? Right there. Find him in the refugee camp. Royal Hospital. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment. And I gotta go back to the embassies in order to use the Spectre terminal. Ugh. Given me Agita. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian help. I don't understand help. what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should... Thank you, Commander. Now, if you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. That wall is looking a lot more full. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. Solarian comforting human in front of a wall. Don't see the Thank you, you are. We were all the pillars. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. <laughs> yeah, I blade for my assault rifle. <laughs> Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. Yeah, buy another thing, why not? so far can I talk to him only if it's important commander he's hurt bad take down the sedative a bit but hurry I peg his survival at 50 50 are you Gorak <sighs> go away nothing to say not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel you 
Do I know you? <coughs> Every battalion with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Yeah, I blew up that system. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butchered a colony. Only regret. <coughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Aratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ah. Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. I tried to. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. If you're so remorseful, if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. Unplug this machine and rejoin my family. God damn it. I just love killing Batarians. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, this is getting packed. Support. Someone sabotaged the metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. I need support. Someone sabotaged the metagel dispensers, and I've got some. Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then. One of them started asking around for me by name. Really? But they didn't find you. Cool. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know. Ooh, could I have found a dead Kelly or would Thank someone you. have told me she was dead? I'm gonna look into that. Dead Kelly is how I phrased it. So many sad stories. These people have lost so much. Excuse no. Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Come on! Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean, are you kidding me? Gay Hinnom, the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my you thought I was blood. Mm hmm. I believe those are my credits. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. Excellent. I have a little. You just gonna stand there and watch? You're kind of making me nervous, Commander. I'd ask him to deal you in, but I think that's your I don't believe A lot more Asari than there used to be. Screams are louder, too. Waiting? Waiting for who? Oh, for my parents. They put me on the rescue transport and said to wait for them here. They'll come find me as soon as they can. Damn. If anyone bothers you, let me know. I'll take care of you. Sure thing, sir. Thanks. Well, all her parents are dead. Oh, that's rough.
I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll be <coughs> it right away. So I should have done the Cerberus mission where I found the power grid before I did priority to Trunka. So I could have returned here before priority to Trunka, handed it in, and handed in the Barlavan mission. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Nope. A lot of back and forth, too. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Batarian access codes with Spectre level access. Start here. Medical supplies. Originally meant for an occupied zones have been rerouted for Citadel because Reaper and Razor has made delivery impossible. These supplies are currently in lockdown in the docks but can be used. Release to where to do it. Civilian militia. CSAC has filed... Fielded requests for a civilian militia to defend the Citadel in the event of another attack. Many CSEC believe a militia would benefit the Citadel's state of readiness and improve morale, but lack funds. Do it. The first Arun financial report. This financial report is for top-level embassy access only, according to the financial estimates. The first Arun investment trust, a division of the Elko's Combine. The Citadel races cannot sustain the cost of war efforts for more than one year. Although military spending has stimulated certain market sectors, shortages in rationing in other areas have depressed the financial system. Civilian discretionary spending has fallen except in entertainment areas like escapist vids and drinking. First, Arun is borrowing heavily to provide funds for key functions across the Citadel, but if the war does not end within the next year, the galactic financial collapse is inevitable. CSEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate service informants. Officers have tapped public surveillance feed but do not have legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorization would enable them to tap. Do it right now. Looking for a Batarian patient located in a makeshift clinic and Doc 23. Suffering from undisclosed injuries, medical staff from Huerta have provided painkillers but there's no viable long-term treatment. Because the Batarian hege hegemony refuses to share records, no data on Gorik is available. And let's do that. Civilian Defense Force. Civilian Defense Force. Civilian Defense Force. And some reason we're all the way back down there again. Do I have to go back to the Presidium and go all the way over and talk to that woman again? That's so much goddamn backtracking. Then yeah, we'll head to the docks and be done. There's a console in lab services. <gasps> 
Right, where did I have to go? To the docks, particularly Bay E24. To the console in Huerta. I'll do that first. There's just so much. One thing after another. Bam, 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 bam. All right, we got Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. That's messed up. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Wait, where's the area? Liara was there? Sure as hell didn't see her. I gotta remember to just, just check the damn map, you know? Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Ah, <sighs> God, my... Shoulders don't feel right now still. Arriving at Dogging Bay D24. It's in two in that big area down there. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant OMB? No, Private. We are not. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. And the docks. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Secure channel. Y yes Understood. Thank you, ma'am. Ah, that's the... Let's see. We would like to apologize for any inconvenience that our fire alarms may have caused. We found a faulty smoke detector in one of our trash rooms that went off. We kindly ask for all residents to please evacuate the building whenever the fire alarms go off. We will inform you in advance if we are testing the alarms. Have a great day. Thank you, Khalil C. He's our building manager. So I'm glad the building wasn't actually on fire and no one got hurt. That's solid. That would be bad. There we go. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24, emergency civilian housing. Where, oh where, right there. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Oh, dear God, no. Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus, too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. 
Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Yes! Just I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't... Okay. But I might be able to help you with... Whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reapers. Can you help with that? Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, uh, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Where did I meet Gavin okay. Hussle? He's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no. It's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Back from Mass Effect 1? Yes. yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh no, the technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? How did you even? Well, this is great. Yeah, he, uh, Gavin Hassel was on... Um, okay, uh, here you go. ...working with Exogeny on Pharos. ...that dark energy device. Good. Anyway. Good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. God damn it, Conrad. All right. Weren't you running a shelter for war orphans on Ilium? Yeah, it was doing well until the Reapers attacked. Ended up spending most of what I had left getting the kids off world. I'm sorry if that was... No, you did the right thing. Good job. Hey there. Oh, it's you, hi. Your parents get here yet? Nope. It's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always keep their promises. They... The next shuttle was probably just late or something. That's all. I'm sure you are. I look forward to meeting them. Assisted Commander Shepard in preventing Soros forces from killing the Council. Come on! The fact that you hear babies screaming is what's doing no, it to me, I think. This is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. <gasps> Balak. Balak! You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true And they all got indoctrinated. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. Yeah. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? The cannibals? Yeah. On this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. <sighs> I'm really tempted to kill him. 
Oh. Oh, so tempted to kill him. So tempted to kill him. Really, really, really tempted. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people, but what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I am uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... <laughs> Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Yeah, I really want to kill him. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Come on! The Batarian fleet. I know, I know. You don't have to say anything. But I'm about to make my company also fell for the Reapers when the Easy was attacked. The Alliance forces were able to evacuate all the students. Alright. Do it once around, look for Metagel. I've seen Metagel dispensers down here. Looking. Kelly, you seen any, uh... I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. There you go. Conrad. Deep breath, Shepard. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Goddamn. Did Conrad just take a bullet for me? Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. Yes, she was the CSEC officer. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... You saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. God damn it. Conrad. Oh, dear God. I never want to see him again. I am ever again.
Now give me a Conrad War Asset right now. I have earned it for putting up with him for three games. Oh dear God, Conrad, you just... Oh, I... <laughs> Yeah, but Dave, uh, but Gavin Hossel was the guy who asked me to find something in his desk back in the first Mass Effect game. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. It says Liara. Oh, Liara's in the marketplace, not in the bank. Gotcha. There she is. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. It's good to be off ship for a while. Hello again. All right. Literally nothing. All right. Guys, I think I've done everything I can for now on the Citadel. And I believe we just passed the three hour mark. Yeah, three hours, 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Went a little over because uh, I had to make sure I didn't die in a fire. That would have been uh, rough. So I'm going to head back to the Normandy, and that is where I will pick up. Uh, guys, I'm going to close the stream. I'll be back in at... I will be back at 5 o'clock. I'm going to take 20 minutes. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, watching the VOD, give me a follow. Really help me out. You're watching it. It's right there. Just hit the button. There. There? There. If you have a question, just hit the button. If you're watching this on YouTube, just subscribe. Right there. Just hit, the, hit the button. Subscribe. There. To you are Help on the me out. Menu. Guys, it'll be in a few minutes, but until next time. If you have a